Hello, Sagittarius. Thank you guys so much for your patience. Yes, you guys are last for my September love readings. But as you guys know, when you're last, that's good too, right? Because that means you guys are going to be first for our bonus September readings. <clears throat> so let's get a couple of announcements out of the way. I still have my two sales going on, $50 for 30 minutes live, $85 for one hour live. If you need an emergency reading, it's $150. Those are worked in within 24 hours. Um, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Saltwater Heels to Row. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, please click on the information box below. It has all of my information. Please check my shit first before you guys email me for a reading. Every video, I beg people, please check my shit first and know what reading you want before you email me. And I still repetitively get people who constantly email me and don't know what they want. I know you checked the description box because you're emailing me and my email address is in there so i know you've been in there but please make sure in the title of your email you say what reading you want especially if it's an emergency reading this is a disclaimer i swear during my readings so if it offends you please click off now it's quite unnecessary to write rude comments in the comment section about me swearing when i warn you ahead of time it's, it, I, I don't understand why you're wasting your time commenting on low vibrational things like that. If I am not the reader for you, it's okay. You know, I'm not going to resonate with everyone. And if I do resonate with you, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. I have a very specific audience and it's a mixture of all types of people. And you're talking all types of people. <clears throat> not everyone is offended by swearing because a lot of people get it that it's about the message and not the delivery or the package it's about the gift inside <sighs> if you don't like something instead of spending your time addressing it you just move on right that's the vibration we want to put out into the universe anyways we are going to get started for my beautiful Sagittarius you guys have been very patient. Today is September 5th, okay? The day I'm doing this video. Mercury has started to go direct. We are gonna be in the shadow period for up to a week to two weeks. Everyone's different. Some people start to feel the effects ending even before Mercury goes direct, okay? Just like some people feel the effects of it before it even starts. And then some people are not very affected by Mercury retrograde at all. Everyone's different. The month of August, has been brutal for some people. It's been about purging and releasing and letting go. Some people are still in the process of that because as usual, energies linger. So just because today is September 5th, Mercury went direct, it doesn't mean it's a magic cure, everything is gonna be fine. There still might be a little bit of lingering, okay? There also is still a little lingering as far as releasing and purging. Tomorrow is the full moon. That's your time to do your full moon release and let go rituals or intentions or whatever it is you want to do it's a time to release and let go of what no longer serves us and we're talking people places and things right all right it's gonna be the love reading for Sagittarius for September 2017 what messages do you have for Sagittarius what are they allowed to know spirit guides and angels what do you want them to know for the month of september 2017 for sagittarius 2017 of september all right you guys i'm ready Wow. 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 Interesting. Sorry about that. Somebody called and when someone calls, it cuts off my goddamn recording. These two want to come out. Oh my God. I'm not going to show you guys this card that popped up. I'm going to wait to the end just because that's what they're telling me to do. 
Look at your very first card, Sagittarius. <clears throat> Sorry, I felt like it was blurry. Your very first card is the Nine of Cups, which is wishes coming true, bitches. Wishes coming true. Your very first fucking card. I mean, come on. Come on, really? <laughs> you see why I always tell you guys the best is yet to come? Hmm? Very first card, wishes. So it is very important to set our intentions out to the universe of what it is we want, our wishes. What wishes do we want? What do we want? What are we trying to accomplish, right? Next, we have the King of Cups. King of Cups could be a water sign you guys are dealing with. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. King of Cups. Ooh, king of Cups energy because it doesn't have to be a water sign. It could be a fire sign who just acts like a King of Cups, right? King of Cups, his energy. He feels everything, but he'll never let you know that. He is very, very, very in control of his emotions. Some of you guys who are dealing with a Cancer, <clears throat> Scorpio or a Pisces, you guys are going to go, yes, that's how they are. That's how they are. But some other signs can be that way too, depending on what they have in their chart. Of course, this is always sun, moon, and rising. Um, oh, he feels everything. She feels everything. Because, you know, it could be masculine, female also. Take it as it resonates. But this person feels fucking everything. But you will never know. They're so poker-faced. Wow. Oh, I wanted to clarify this nine of cups and this king of cups energy and Jesus Christ, it's another fucking cup. Holy fuck, ace of cups, you guys. So again, it could be water, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but as we know, ace of cups is a brand new fucking beginning in love and emotions. Oh my God, Sagittarius from the fucking jump. How fucking beautiful is that? I'm going to be jumping around, you guys. Sometimes I do that. The energy just calls me. Some of you guys, this is the wish that you guys are putting out there, right? Knight of Cups is a love offer. Putting your wishes out there, this love offer. You guys are putting this wish out, this little tiny cup. Look at what's coming. This big fucking cup. Honey, this cup's so big and it's so full of love and emotions. My cup runneth over. The W or the M could be relevant. It doesn't have to be, but I always like to point that out. It could be. Now, this is the thing, okay? A lot of you guys have had to go into protection mode or hermit mode. The hermit could be for Virgo now, but it doesn't have to be. Um, the hermit mode is someone who goes within. They. This is for either you or the person that your your partner or whoever it is you're thinking of. They've somebody's had to go into hermit mode. Hermit mode means to kind of re retreat. It's like you have to go and say, okay, all right, this is not kind of working out the way I wanted. Okay, they're doing their shit. Okay, some of them are not free and clear. Um, it's like you have to make the decision, right? Judgment is about making a decision. You guys have to make that decision to move on. Six of Swords is moving on, moving on to something better, right? Going somewhere better. You said, I have to do this. I have to do this. In the meantime, while they're getting their shit together, while their cycle is getting completed, the world card is about completion. This is huge because it's a major arcana. And the, the world card is about huge life cycles coming to an end. So this is people who are in karmic situations, right? They, their whole cycle has to um, end, and in the meantime, you've kind of had to wait it out, right? So this has been your guys' energy for a while, feeling stuck and powerless. Some of you were feeling very stuck and powerless and like, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm putting in all the effort and they're not giving back because Six of Pentacles is about give and take. But for me, it's a card about somebody's giving too much while the other is just taking. So, you know, it was like... What do I do? I'm giving everything. They're not fucking giving me anything. But in a sense, how could you expect them to? They're still trying to wrap this shit up. 
their cycle is coming to an end and you have to let that be right so some of you guys finally woke up and said okay i'm gonna make the decision to move on concentrate on me and go into hermit mode this also symbolizes like on the hunt for knowledge it's like we're seeking something right you guys were seeking the truth some of you are going through spiritual awakening you're seeing the light a lot of people are seeing angel numbers which are like 11 11 is like one of the most common numbers you start to see when you first awaken so some of you guys are seeing 11 11 um some of you guys are like under extreme um going through extreme awakening symptoms um I'm sorry, Spirit's telling me to shut up. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, jeez. You guys have been putting in the fucking work. Eight of Cups. I mean, excuse me, Eight of Pentacles. You guys have been doing your inner work. During this retreat hermit mode, if you guys have been working on yourselves, doing your purging, doing your releasing, letting it go, whatever they're dealing with, it's their thing to deal with. If you've been concentrating on you and you've been putting in the work, you are going to be reaping these fucking benefits. You are. That's what they're saying. You're going to be reaping these benefits. Now, the tower is going to be coming in for a lot of people, whether this is for you, Sagittarius, or the people that you're waiting on or your partner. The tower comes in when we are stuck on a path that we refuse to acknowledge and say, this is not the right person for me. This is not the right job for me. This is not the right path that I'm on. When you refuse to listen to the signs of the universe, this comes in and it shakes you right off of your foundation. It just shakes you right off your foundation. It's essential though for some of you guys, okay? So, I know you guys are fire signs, right, Sagittarius? But a lot of you guys have taken on the mode or the energy of the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is very emotionally nurturing, intuitive, and very sensitive. You guys have been feeling your emotions in August. Feeling, purging, going through all that. See? Second card about moving on. We have this here. Six of Swords was about moving on, going somewhere better. Five of Pentacles is about somebody is being left or they're leaving someone. The decision had to have been made. The tower came in and the tower is for some of them too, the people you're waiting on. This is going to happen. This could be a Leo for some of you. The Sun card could be for a Leo. Sun, moon, or rising. But the sun card is so beautiful because it's like the <clears throat> epitome of like happiness and joy. It's like, fuck. It's a whole new day. It's a whole new era. It's a whole new beginning. The sun is finally shining. August has been very gloomy and dark for a lot of people, right? And now it's like there's a break in the clouds. There's a break in the clouds all of a sudden. And it's like you finally start to feel feel the rays of the sun you finally start to see the light that there is hope that there is light at the end of this dark tunnel this is a soulmate for a lot of you guys this is a soulmate six of cups six of cups is someone returning from the past also could be like a reunion reconciliation or reunion for some people it's not going to be for everyone but for some people, this is a soulmate coming back from the past. Reconciliation. Wow. Two of swords. Indecision. That's you or them. Nope. Sorry. Spirit just corrected me. This is them. You guys have already done the work. This is for just a very select group of people, okay? It's not going to be for everyone. For the very select group of people that have made the decision to release and let go and stop waiting... is the other person they're still indecisive right they're still like this and that is exactly why this is coming because they're still doing this they're still stuck refusing to see what needs to be done some of you this is a pisces sun moon or rising page of cups is a pisces card um page of cups is also just like something very early this is like early new pages are new right it also can be communication two pages this is like 
in this little cup, things are finally starting to develop is what I feel in this card. Things are finally starting to develop. You see little signs of hope in this cup. Where before it was dry, it was so dry there was no water. This fish could not even be in the cup because as we know, fishes need water. The cup was so dry before, no hope. There was nothing. Now there's hope. Look, there's the fish. That fish symbolizes hope. New beginnings, life in this cup. Wow, look at that. Two of Wands. Two of Wands is assessing your life situation. Go, deciding what direction am I going to take. This is being stuck and blinded. This is the energy of I'm not blinded anymore. I see the options. I'm ready to choose. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm ready to choose A or B, left or right, her or her, him or him. I'm ready. I'm ready. Now, for a lot of you guys, this is the birth of something new. The Empress symbolizes the birth of something new. Or for you that can get pregnant or you can make someone else pregnant, this is also pregnancy. Now, you got to be careful because for some people, this can be at the last second, right? They're trying to get out of this shit. And their dumbasses go and get their partner pregnant. Or they get pregnant. Careful, this is pregnancy card, okay? If you're able to have children. For some of you, it's just symbolizing the birth of something new. It's a very feminine energy. It's almost like owning your feminine, your feminine energy, your power. Queen of Wands, here you guys are. Here you guys are. I'm so sorry about that loud noise outside. Of all times, the fucking rubbish man wants to come when I'm doing a damn video, Sagittarius. I'm sorry. Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Queen of Wands energy. She is very confident, focused, and spicy. She is attractive. When she walks into a room, her presence is known, okay? She is very outgoing. Very outgoing, honey. She's a life of the party. She can be a seductress also. Wheel of Fortune, karmic. So not only did you guys get the world card, you got the Wheel of Fortune. Cycles are definitely coming to an end. And remember what I talked about in the beginning of this video. If you have been doing the inner work and been getting on your shit and doing what you're supposed to do, you're going to be getting what you deserve. Because it's the karmic wheel also. This is about karma symbolizes karmic relationships so yes a lot of these people are trying to get out of these karmic situations but this is also karma for yourself we get back what we give if you're giving and doing the work right then you will see the benefits of your harvest if you don't put in any work you don't water it you don't tend to your fucking garden are you gonna get a harvest no the fuck you're not this is also about good fortune and destiny for some people right now I'm ready to show you this card. Yes, bitches. Yes. The Ten of Fucking Cups. Huh. The best is yet to come. Sagittarius, hang on. Let this shit wrap up, whether the tower is for you because you're in this karmic situation or this is for the person that you're waiting on. Ten of fucking cups, honey. I mean, come on. Let's go ahead and pull some advice cards for you guys. Off of the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins deck by Doreen Virtue. Remember, this is not going to resonate with everyone. If it resonates with you, great. Like and subscribe to my channel. If it resonates but you need more detailed information about your specific situation, then email me for a personal reading. Because it's just not going to be for everyone. I hope, I would love to say yes, this is going to be for everyone. But you guys know how it works. Every case is different. Wow, look at those two pink cards. How beautiful is this? Very feminine. I felt that energy with the Empress. Very feminine energy for some reason. I don't know what that's about. I, I can't quite put my finger on it, but I just feel so like pretty doing this reading. I feel beautiful. I feel so empowered. I feel like I'm owning that feminine energy for some reason. And I think that it's because I am 
feeling what you guys need to be feeling. For some of you guys, I need you guys to get back on your throne, honey. Put your lipstick on. You know, there's that saying, right, by Coco Chanel, I think it is. On bad days, there's always lipstick. You know, go get a pedicure. Go get a manicure. Just be. Just enjoy. Just enjoy this femininity. Embrace your power as a woman. I apologize, guys, who are watching, but this is just the energy that I feel more so. And I can feel it more so because look at this, like, colors. So you guys had tranquility. Make time to relax, be still, and enjoy your solitude, indulging in much-needed self-care. It's all about taking time out for yourself right now. Then we have break free. Try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. Beautiful. Oh, Sagittarius. So I will start working on September bonus videos very soon. And you guys will be first, okay? So you guys were so utterly patient and I didn't get any messages. Or at least I didn't see the comments. But I certainly did not get any DMs or emails from any Sagittarius um, bugging me for their reading. You guys are so patient and I feel like you guys are finally on that right vibration of what's meant for me will not pass by me. Not overly anxious, just trusting in the process and trusting the universe and doing your inner work. And let me tell you guys, it's going to fucking pay off. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys soon, okay? Bye.